A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 1st September, Sunday. On the front page you have over 19 lakh excluded from final NRC. So 31st August was the date when the final NRC of Assam, National Register of Citizens of Assam was to be published and it has been published concluding a 5-year Supreme Court monitored exercise that cost 1,220 crore rupees. And it is said more than 19 lakh of the 3.3 crore applicants have been left out of the NRC. So the process was to sift Indians from illegal immigrants believed to have come mostly from Bangladesh. It has been a 40-year-old demand, the demand which started in 1980 during the anti-foreigners Assam agitation. And in 1985, Assam Accord, this demand was accepted. And 1971 was prescribed as the base year for detecting and deporting foreigners in the state. Then this is how India armed the Northern Alliance. So this is former envoy who has a word of caution for India in the role it should play in post-US Kabul. So it's, he says that India must not commit the error of placing Indian troops on Afghan soil. So he is the diplomat who had coordinated India's assistance, secret military assistance to Ahmad Shah Massoud, the military commander of the Northern Alliance who fought the Taliban and US forces till his assassination in 2001. So here you can see it was in 1996, here you can see it's given, when uh, Taliban backed by Pakistan's ISI took over Kabul. It shot former president Najibullah dead, castrated him and hung his body from the lamppost. So this was the incident since when Taliban has come to power and you can see it was Taliban and the US which were fought against. But now India is again when US uh, is talking of leaving Afghanistan though it will have a troop on the soil and peace deal has been negotiated with Taliban. There is a word of caution with past in mind. So here you can see this is errant drivers beware. So this is regarding stricter penalties for traffic violations. So they will come into effect from 1st September 2019 today. So the passage of Motor Vehicles Amendment Act 2019 is the one which has provided for such stringent punishments. It was recently passed in the parliament. Uh, so, government has notified 63 clauses that will come into effect, including steeper fines for various offences. So, these is how the fines would be for not wearing seat belt, you know, causing accidents, speeding. So, if earlier the fine was 100 to 300 rupees, now it's 1000. Here also, you know, riding without a helmet, more than 1 billion rider. Uh, drunken driving. So, drunken driving will take six months in jail or fine of ten thousand rupees. And for second offence, it would be one year, two years jail and fine of fifteen thousand rupees. Driving without license, five thousand fine. So, these are increased fines. Then this is investigation ordered into uranium contamination. So, this is regarding Andhra Pradesh. In Andhra Pradesh, the government has announced or uh, ordered a full-fledged inquiry into number of complaints about groundwater pollution caused by uranium mining and processing project of Uranium Corporation of India Limited at Tummalapalle in Vemula Mandal of Kadappa. On page 9, you have monsoon deficit reduced to near zero. So, in spite of heavy rains in August, uh, which reduced the 2019 monsoon deficit to near zero, meteorologists say that India is unlikely to end the monsoon with surplus rain. So, as of August 31, India has received 300 mm of rain, that is 16% more than 258 mm, that is typically for the month. Typical for the month. On page 10, you have now revolving door arrests in Kashmir. So, 1,500 youth in Kashmir have been held for short periods and released to contain street clashes in the valley. And this is committed to Kartarpur corridor. So, this is Union Home Minister Amit Shah who has said that Modi government was committed to completing the Kartarpur side corridor within the stipulated time. So, this is being worked on along with Pakistan. It's a corridor from India to Pakistan to visit the Kartarpur side corridor. Uh, to visit the Kartarpur Sahib Gurudwara, which is there in Pakistan. So, on the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak, this initiative has been taken. So, this is there. 
on page 10 you have now revolving door arrests in Kashmir. So 1500 youth here have been held for short periods and released to contain street clashes in the valley. And this is committed to Kartarpur corridor. So Union Home Minister Amit Shah has said that Modi government was committed to completing the Kartarpur Sahib corridor within the stipulated time. So you know India and Pakistan have held a meeting of the technical committee at the zero point in Gurdaspur in Pakistan on the opening of the corridor. So this has been worked on by India and Pakistan. So you can see it is a corridor connecting India to the Kartarpur Sahib shrine in Pakistan. It's the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak this year and at that time it is expected that the corridor would be ready for facilitating pilgrims from India to visit Gurda, uh, Kartarpur Sahib. Then this is listen carefully, report back faithfully and played by the year. So this is regarding India's assistance to Northern Alliance in Afghanistan and uh, this is discussed on the front page and this is the complete details, untold story as such. Then page 11 is complete detail on the NRC exercise. The final list has been published now that we have covered on the front page. On foreign page, uh, international page, you have protesters police clash in Hong Kong. So this comes on the fifth anniversary of a decision by China to curtail democratic reforms in Hong Kong. So Hong Kong protests continue unabated. And this is Taliban launches attacks in Kunduz amid talks with US. So at least three civilians here have been killed and 41 wounded. So Taliban still continues at its attacks though there are talks going on with USA in Qatar on a peace deal. Then this is US not involved in failed Iran rocket launch. Trump. So US President Donald Trump's photo tweet raises concerns among experts that he may have revealed surveillance secrets. Then this is Tamil family moved to remote island. So a Tamil family of four including two Australian born toddlers have been moved to a remote island of the coast of Indonesia despite a court order blocking deportation. So the family is fighting to remain in Australia because it fears persecution in Sri Lanka but it has now been moved to Christmas Island detention facility overnight. So this has become a cause of concern here. So here you can see it is said the family's case comes as a new flashpoint over Australian government's hardline immigrant policy, which includes turning away refugees arriving by boat and de facto offshore detention. And both these measures have been condemned by the United Nations. And there's no important news on the business page. This is something which has not happened yet. We, we want to buy oil fields in Russia, and auto sector slowdown has been in news quite often. So on Sundays you have this frequently asked questions FAQ coverage where three important issues are covered. So today the first one is a plastic emergency. So this says what is the protocol that needs to be in place before ban on single use plastic items come into force. So this is an important issue covered because ban on single use plastic has been made all across the globe. Uh, a demand for this has been made. And this is a central bank or government piggy bank. So this is regarding RBI. So, does the payout damage the credibility of RBI as an independent central bank? And where do the central bank's earnings come from? So, this is detailed out in this article. And this is what is the economics behind e-vehicle batteries, that is electronic vehicle, electric vehicle batteries. So, it, India is keen to make a transition from conventional fuel vehicles to e-vehicles. So, electronic vehicles, EVs, are economically feasible for mass use. So, that is, issue is being covered here. Then on Sundays you have science and technology coverage. So here the first article is filter based kits developed for TB diagnosis, drug resistance testing. So these are kits which have been developed. These kits improve the sensitivity of smear microscopy and transport of sputum samples. So it has been developed, you know, uh, as a, uh, uh, there are three cost effective kits that have been developed to improve the sensitivity of smear microscopy. This TP detect kit is for diagnosis using LED fluorescence microscopy. 
and then there are TB concentration and transport and TB DNA extraction kits which together are for detection of drug resistance. Then this is how humans increased wildlife parasites. So it says presence of plantations, livestock increased parasite diversity. So it's humans themselves, plantations, livestock which have increased parasite diversity. And then below you have evolution of antibiotic resistance in E. coli study. So bacteria form biofilms when exposed to low concentration of antibiotics. So this is what a study has revealed. And this is Southern Ocean could control global warming. So scientists have made a new discovery challenging the previous understanding of the link between Southern Ocean and the atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. So this study shows that contrary to existing assumptions, biological processes far out at sea are the most important factors determining how the ocean absorbs carbon dioxide. And then below you have cholera bacteria have become highly drug resistant. So, these are bacteria that have become resistant to all commonly used antibiotics and the highest resistance was against salvamethexazole. Methexazole. So, this is a huge cause of concern that cholera bacteria is also becoming highly drug resistant. So, these are the important headlines. There is no news item covered on the last page which is important. So, for detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.